Investigating plant growth. Seeds. Seeds and fruits. Have you ever swallowed a seed when you were eating an apple or an orange? We find seeds inside fruits. Fruits and seeds can be different sizes and shapes. This apple has been cut in half to show the seeds. An avocado pear has one hard seed. Bean seeds are found inside a pod. A poppy's fruit contains the seed. What's inside a seed? Are seeds alive? Seeds might look dead, but they are not. Seeds grow into new plants. There is a tiny plant inside the seed that starts to grow when it has all the things that it needs. The tiny plant inside the seed is called an embryo. The seed also has a food store. Here is a bean seed with its parts labeled. Food store. Scar where seed was joined to fruit. Embryo. Seed coat. Draw and label a seed. Look carefully at the seed with a hand lens. Find the seed coat and the scar where the seed was joined to the fruit. Make a neat drawing of the outside of the seed. Label your drawing. Use your fingernails to pull off the outer covering of the seed. Pull the two halves of the seed apart. Find the embryo inside the seed. Find the seed's food store. Draw and label the inside parts of the seed. Questions 1. Why does the seed need a food store? A seed needs a food store because it contains the energy and nutrients that the seedling will use to begin its growth and development once it germinates. This store of nutrients and energy, called endosperm, is located in the seed and provides the seedling with the energy and nutrients it needs to begin photosynthesis and to build the structures necessary for growth. Without this store of energy and nutrients, the seedling would be unable to survive and grow. 2. Why does the seed need a seed coat? A seed coat serves several important functions for a seed. 1. Protection The seed coat protects the seed and its stored food supply from damage and from drying out. 2. Germination The seed coat also regulates the timing of germination by preventing water and oxygen from reaching the embryo until the conditions are right for growth. 3. Dispersal Some seed coats have adaptations that help in seed dispersal such as hooks or barbs that can attach to animal fur or feathers. 4. Deterring predators, some seed coat have evolved to be tough and hard to digest, making it difficult for animals to eat the seed and damaging their ability to germinate and grow. Overall the seed coat plays an important role in ensuring the survival of the seed and the next generation of plants. 3. What do you think the seed needs to make it start to grow? A seed needs several things to begin growing. 1. Water. Water is essential for the germination process as it activates enzymes that break down stored food in the seed and begins the process of cell division in the embryo. 2. Optimal temperature. Different seeds have different optimal temperature ranges for germination, and the seed will not sprout until it reaches the proper temperature. 3. Oxygen. Oxygen is needed for the seed to respire and to activate enzymes that break down stored food in the seed. 4. Light or darkness, some seeds require light to germinate, while others require darkness. 5. Proper timing, some seeds have mechanisms that delay germination, such as a seed coat, until conditions are favorable for growth. 6. Proper soil pH and nutrient, the soil should have the right pH and nutrient for the seed to germinate and grow. When these conditions are met, the seed will begin to germinate and grow into a seedling. What you have learned. Seeds are found in fruits. The embryo inside a seed grows into a new plant. Seeds are covered by a seed coat. Seeds contain a food store.